Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. You know, six miraculous jump shots that is gonna make you green relentlessly. And it's in the start of the vid, so make sure y'all like and subscribe. It's free, requires no effort. And turn on them post notice, man. Listen very closely, bro. I'm finna change the whole game, bro. Listen, okay? This jump shot, I've never greened with a jump shot as much as I have with this Kevin Love base, okay? It might be a little slow, but in this game, everyone leaves everyone open, right? Because people can't shoot, okay? I run this on my 6'8 guard, and I've never been this green, okay? Um, might be a little slow, you know? I'm just saying, it's something to try out. That time and impact, it helps. I know a lot of people giving y'all wrong jump shots out there. That time and impact means your green window is bigger. By the way, I'm teaching all y'all niggas how to shoot. It makes your green, that means your room for error is bigger. It's the built-in sniper, okay? But it's just gonna show up as green. I'm trying to tell you. Now let's get into the next jump shot. Now this jump shot right here, look. You see it still has an A plus release speed and an A plus defensive immunity and I got it at 75 speed. So I don't know what exactly the threshold is for it to have an A, um, an a plus. Not all A plus or letter grades are created equal. But if you guys didn't know, when you have your release speed lower, your green window opens up, your make percentage opens up, but it's just a little slower. But as I stated before, everyone is leaving everyone wide open. So what's most important is hitting your shots, okay? You can also try it like this, right? But look, you see your time and impact goes down, right? Because C is higher than C minus. I know a lot of y'all skipped that school. <laughs> but look, this is higher, right? This is... It basically means your room for error from missing the center of the green window of the jump shot. You see how it, it elevates and look at that Kevin Love, that's an A minus. So I have an even bigger room for error and my shot's still an A minus, you feel me? But this is another shot, you can still have that A plus speed and it, it's easier to hit with, okay? A lot of people like this Kuzuma base, but at the 75 speed, I don't think people know the sauce. I'm putting y'all on sauce. I've been hit to this. Um, people are gonna start rocking 75 speed jump shots that still got that A plus, probably. And um, yeah, this is definitely one of those. And look, Lamelo, the same thing. You know, Lamelo, people like it for the same reason. It's super fast, reliable, easy to hit with. But people don't know about that 75%. I'm putting you on sauce. Like you could rock it like this, or you could rock it like this test it out see if you get if you can't handle it like this and always hit then rock it like this okay especially if you on the spot up side you want to do stuff like this I'm telling you. and then lastly if you want your jump shot even slower <laughs> or like you a spot up or something you can you can have this jump shot right your defensive immunity which is basically like contest ratings and all that and i know my arc is a little slow on my release height for, for the other jump shot, but you got the A minus release, but you can shoot better uh, somewhat contested shots and your time and impact is still high, right? So this is more of a spot up. You can still use this as a main shot. People leaving people open, bro. So you can shoot. If I didn't cover your attributes or uh, heights in this video, check out my other two jump shot videos I dropped. I've dropped probably like 20 plus uh, green jump shots, you know, check them out and listen to the rest of this video if you need more help with, uh, if you need more help and you still struggling to shoot, man. Hey, y'all be sure to comment your favorite jump shot down below with the grades and the blending and all that. Help each other out, man. I'm finna teach y'all how to shoot on NBA 2K23 and teach you all about it i'm gonna show you the best shooting badges so y'all are gonna want to watch this full video make sure you don't skip or you will miss out on something now as you can see man i have a win percent like this every year and i do not try for it bro i do not try um i actually do be playing with randoms and bums and playing stage and i i don't i don't care where i don't care if my one percent is a 70 something really bro but um yeah like this is just what naturally happens man but anywho let's get into the video i know what i'm talking about i'm amazing every year i play with bots beat comp players every year they always pull up on me look at my swole ass. 
our player, nigga. Anywho, man. Firstly, what I want to tell y'all, okay? Set team. Now, your shot meter, bro. On and off. If y'all do not know, 2K Lab dropped some information basically saying that this year, the shot meter off boost is not as big as it was in the past. So they're saying, you know, you can use meter now for some reason. Um, Me personally, bro, when I use the meter, I can't shoot as good. I don't know what it is. In his information, bro, I'm gonna show it on the screen. He basically saying that it's not as forgiving and, and all this and that. He's saying that it's virtually the same. I don't know if I too much believe that, but I mean, this is this is what he tested, man. So, I mean, y'all could test with and without meter. Um, I feel better without meter. Now, this shot timing right here. Put this hole on very late. <laughs> bro, bro, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, man. Telling you, man, even Mike Wang tweeted about this because he be lurking in my fucking streams and still in sauce, nigga, about his own game that he don't know, bro. But he also said on Twitter that um apparently there's no competitive advantage. It's just your release point or whatever, blah blah, whatever the fuck the nigga say, I'll show it. But uh I'm telling you, personal experience, man. After that first game you play, where it's hella easy to score, I scored like 130 points, right? With uh, no attributes. Then when I played the next game, bro, I started off 0-11 from shooting. I switched it to very late. Ever since then, I've been cash. I don't know why. Y'all let me know what, um, if y'all are using meter this year, y'all also let me know if you're using shot timing down below. Also for your shot feedback, some people take this off because like less delay and all that. I mean, if you want it that bad, you could do something like that. I personally rock all shots. Like if you're struggling, you might wanna do something like that. Now this stuff right here, some people believe it adds more delay to your player and stuff like that. So they take off the under shit, they take off the release meter and the jump shot, they take it all off, right? Me personally, I'm gonna leave it all on, but I mean, if you're struggling or you wanna be more cash, it's something to test and play with. You know, the indicator, the perfect release, the jump shot meter, whatever, man, they take it all off. I see comp players play and they, they keep it on, bro. So, I mean, and them niggas don't get off the game. You know, they have no life, no job, like staying with their parents type shit. And you know, like, you know, they gonna figure it out. They gonna uh, play by any exploit means necessary, my boy. And I don't really see a lot of them really do it. Okay, now look, right here, bro, this drill right here, bro. You want to do this drill, okay? And you want to complete it, and basically it's gonna make it to where you get 25% off for the Gatorade, man. I'm on current gen right now, Um, I'm, I'll be on next. But um, look, I, I currently don't have the 25% off, or do I? I don't know actually what I have on, but you see a discount, man. If you guys didn't know, stamina relates to your jump shooting a lot. And by the way, y'all add me if y'all wanna uh, get at it. Actually, don't add me. If you want an ad, make sure you join and become a member to the uh, YouTube channel. Let me know, show proof. Link is in description. But yeah, if y'all didn't know, the less stamina you have, the slower your jump shot is. If people close out real quick on you, your jump shot increases by like 30%, they say, your speed. So basically, they basically are forcing you guys to buy Gatorades. Very expensive. I mean, you can go without it. Um, guards need it more than most people. But if you want to be cash, Gatorade is the way. Maybe one of these holes will do. But... um. Yeah, bro, if you know you're gonna go play some comp or some other different type of shit, you know you gotta stack up on this shit. And this this is a scam, bro. It's over $120 to max out your build. Then they create the game, then y'all are in such support of this stamina shit and this adrenaline shit, which basically makes people even buy Gatorade more. You're basically scamming yourself it, just because you lack in skill. It's so sad. I'll be trying to tell y'all, but no one understands, bro. 
But um, it, it's not it's not like the best 2Ks didn't have stamina restrictions. But hey, that's besides the point. I know that's going to make y'all mad. But I'm just saying, think, bro. Think. They have to implement defense, my boy. It's not slowing down the offense. It's implementing the defense. 16 defense was amazing. The offense was stupid galactic speed. Okay? But anywho, um, this Gatorade shit, man, it's going to help you a lot. Let me show you another thing before we get into the badges. Your skill boost. Yes, this will help you shoot, man. But if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. But this is just a monopoly. This is what they do. I'm just giving you the gems, the secrets, man. This is what all the comp players are going to have on. I mean, but if you are casual, you do not have to invest in this. Do not care about your win percent if you're not getting paid off this whole. And look, that look, that nigga Zach 2K, whatever the fuck that nigga name is, that nigga had a 40 win percent, boy. That nigga juiced. Agent, win percent terrible. Them niggas have trash win percents. I'm telling you, this shit is not about win percents. If you are up and coming content creator or you want to become one, fuck that shit, bro. But it do matter for you bot niggas. Don't think I don't know. Now look, you want your hot spots, bro. Okay, I know hot, hot zone hunter is not here, but hot spots still will help you shoot a lot. I don't know if my career transfers, to the parks and all that other stuff y'all are gonna have to educate each other down below if you have any knowledge about that please let everybody but hey know. hey here we go again yeah here, here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm at made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome dome